Okay, so this is the surah. Aryan, can you uh, read that again, the translation again? Because it's a beautiful meaning. Read that. Huh? Read the translation again. Okay. Say, God is the one and only God. Mm -hmm. Allah needs no one, but all need him. Has no child, nor was he born. And yeah. no one is like him. Excellent. Now, these... The kuffars, the kafirs, the, the, uh, the, the non-believers actually asked Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that tell us about Allah. Who is Allah? Then this surah was revealed and this is these four lines give the complete picture of Allah Rabbul Alameen. Okay? And this is the oneness of God. Okay, now I'm just trying to slowly explain the thing. Say God is the one and only God. So he is only one. Okay. Yes. Second, Allah needs no one, but all need him, which means yes. Allah who saw yes. This sentence has very interesting meaning and very deep meaning, which is that every creature in the world, including the virus, you know, <laughs> including yeah. the bacteria, including all the pl uh, plants in the forest, in the backyard, you know, all the sands, all the creatures in the deep down the sea, right? All the animals in the forest, all the birds, everything yes. in the universe, everyone needs Allah. But he doesn't need anyone. So that's why if no one, no human basically uh, pray, if no human actually do his worship, it doesn't bother him at all. It, it can't harm Allah Rabbul Alameen because Allah Rabbul Alameen doesn't need anyone. Everyone actually depends on him. Now, the third thing, he has no child, nor was he born. Now, the Christian, the Christians believe that nowadays, actually, that uh, the Jesus is God. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And also there is another Trinity, another three God. But yeah, uh, so these, these answers, the father and the son. yes, father and the son, good. So this, this line, he has no child, nor he was born, is the answer to that, that God cannot have uh, any child. In fact, uh, there is a history is that if Jesus is God, it's a research basically, is that uh, after his death, th after 300 years, it was decided that he, he was a God, you know? That's a bit strange thing. Wow. Now, and no one is like him. Now, this is the beautiful thing. No one is like him, which means you cannot compare Allah Rabbul Alamin to anyone. Yeah. For example, Allah Rabbul Alamin has how many names? Can anyone know? Uh, 99. 99, but there is a debate, but mostly 99 names. Uh, can you give one example of his name? Um, For example, Khalik, right? Khalik. We yeah. learned last week. Even uh, suppose there is an example called he is merciful, right? Yeah. He's a Rahman. He is yeah. the most merciful. Now, if I say that I am merciful uh, and Allah is merciful, both are completely different mercy. Yeah. Okay? Uh, because uh, there, there is a definition that Allah Rabbul Alameen, all the mercy of the universe, he just divided into 100 parts. And only one part he gave to the whole universe. And the remaining 99 part is with him. So it yeah. indicates even, you know, that one part has all the motherly love, right? Yes. Because every mother loves their children. So you can imagine that mother's love is huge amount of love. Even that actually all the mother's love, if you add it, it becomes that one part or less. Because all the animals, mothers are also loving their <laughs> kids, right? Yeah. So you can imagine Allah has infinite amount of love. Allah has infinite amount of mercy. Allah has infinite amount of knowledge, right? And infinite amount of power. Suppose Allah is powerful. Allah is Qadir. There is another name. So if we think that the most super, you know, the, the, the super power in this world, they are most powerful. It is nothing compared to Allah Rabbul Alameen. You got it? That's why... Allah Rabbul Alameen, just send one simple virus that we cannot even see, which is COVID, right? And it is actually destroying the 
whole humanity almost, right? Everyone is afraid of that. So you can imagine mm -hmm. that all the superpower even cannot fight the simple, very simple power of Allah Rabbul Alameen. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. So like him. No one is like him. Okay. So you should listen to this surah and reset and memorize it. I think all of you uh, memorize. Yeah, Pariza, memorize do you memorize that? Yes, because I learned, I learned it. <laughs> very good. Okay. Now, uh, um, Umayza, read that. Yes. Lena asked her mother one day, Mama, why is Allah only one? Continue. Mama. Yes. Say. Mama. Oh, God is one because no one can be like him or do what he can do. Yep. God is only one because there is nothing else like him. Allah has all the power. No one else can be like him. No one can create the world, the stars, and the sun other than Allah. No one can make people and animals like he can. Okay, now read that. Allah has forever been here. He will always be here forever. He was never born and he will never die. He does not have a mother or a fa father. He does not have any children. Allah needs any, never needs anyone to take care of him. He never needs help. There is only one God whom we love and worship. Okay. Uh, now, there is interesting bit. Uh, uh, Taranum, read that. Okay, I, I'm reading it. Actually, this is Avdalu Zikr. Avdalu Zikri, La ilaha illallah, means that this is the most powerful dua, that La ilaha illallah. Now, read from here, Taranum. Jabir. Okay, from here, then in the second line, just read. The best Taranum. way to remember Allah is to say, La ilaha illallah. There's no God but Allah. Okay, so this is the best way to remember Allah. So if we say that we want to remember Allah, what is the best way to remember Allah? La Say ilaha la ilaha illallah. And read that as well. La ilaha illallah. We say this as many times as we can. Okay, so this is the healthy habit. We should try to read that uh, dua as many uh, i mean as we can okay so uh, inshallah next class uh, you have to tell me that you have read it 50 times can you do it inshallah oh uh, yeah okay <laughs> so if you do it 50 times inshallah uh, allah will give you reward and the reward will be stored right will be stored for the day of judgment and and it will come as a blessings inshallah so we should try to make the dua as much as possible okay I think, do you have any question? No. No. Okay. So take care, all of you, and try to practice. We started book two. I'll send the PDF file. So up to page five, try to practice, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, inshallah, we'll see you. Okay. Take care. Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.